What's up guys, it's Mr. Bringle, and today I'm going to be going through the Energy Ranking Task Concept Builder. So, there are four or uh, three trophies here, four questions on each one. Um, you are going to do all three trophies. I'm going to go through uh, probably about two questions per trophy, uh, just to help you get started, and that way um, you can kind of finish it on your own. Okay, so let's start with the potential energy. So, um, we're ranking these in terms of the most potential energy. You can see greatest potential, middle potential energy, smallest potential energy. This is specifically talking about the gravitational potential energy. So let's just review here. Remember that gravitational potential energy, which you'll sometimes see as GPE or EG, subscript G, is equal to the, the object's mass times the acceleration due to the gravity, and uh, multiply that by the height okay, of the object. Okay. So really when we're looking at this, we know the object is going to keep the same mass, and we're assuming that the gravitational field strength is the same, because um, we're not really changing our location here. So really the, the one thing that's going to determine um, which location has the most gravitational potential energy is the height of the object okay so in this example here object C is the highest up therefore I know it has the most gravitational potential energy because when this H when this value for H is larger than a and B and has the same mass and the same acceleration due to gravity then uh, this one's going to have the most potential so we'll go ahead and put in C for the most uh, gravitational potential energy and then the next highest up would be B so we'll go ahead and plug in B and then A has the smallest amount of gravitational potential energy because it is the lowest of the three okay great let's do it again so I guess I should have left that equation down here but Okay, so on this one we've got a pendulum swinging, um, and we've kind of talked about this before, and and I've talked about it in a video previously. But um, you know when this thing swings up to its to position A, we'll just assume that that's the highest location. That's where it's going to be motionless for just a second, and then it's going to start swinging back this way and picking up speed. So up at A, that's going to be where it has the most gravitational potential energy because it's the highest up from its lowest point, which would be straight up and down, like right here, a little bit to the right of B, would be the lowest point. So the highest point will be the most gravitational potential energy. The lowest point, B, would have the most kinetic energy because it'll be moving the fastest. And... Um, on the flip side, the least amount of gravitational potential. So I'm going to go ahead and put in B right there. And then C is right in between A and B in terms of its height. So its height is right here above B but below A. So we'll put C in for middle potential energy. Okay, great. So um, you guys, I'm sure, will be able to figure out the other two on your own. So I'm going to let you do that. Let's go ahead and go back to the main menu and let's move on to the second trophy, which this time we are ranking kinetic energy um, at the three locations. So we kind of just talked about this in the last problem, but um, you know the pendulum starts up at A and it swings down. It's speeding up the entire time until it gets vertical straight up and down, at which point it's at its maximum speed and its lowest height. And then it will start going up again uh, towards the opposite of A over here. Um, so in terms of kinetic energy, this is going to be different than, than gravitational potential energy. Kinetic energy or EK is equal to one half times the object's mass times the object's velocity squared. Now it's just the velocity that's squared there. But the point here is that once again, the object's mass is not going to change. So the thing that determines the kinetic energy of the object is the velocity. Okay, so the faster the object is moving, the more kinetic energy it has. Um, and so it's kind of going to be flipped from gravitational potential energy. The higher up it is, the slower it's moving. 
the lower it is, the faster it's moving. So this time it's going to be the opposite. The object that's the lowest, which is moving the fastest, B, is going to have the most kinetic energy. And then the next one would be C because it's in between B and A. And then A is at the highest location, which means it must be moving the slowest and therefore will have the lowest kinetic energy. Okay. Um, now it looks like we've got a ball bouncing here, so it's on its way down at A, it bounces, it goes back up to point B, and then it comes back down and bounces and back up to point C here. Okay. So um, trying to figure out, you know, which one of these is moving the fastest. Again, it's going to be the one that's the lowest. So C is going to be moving the fastest. Uh, if you think about it, some people might be tempted to put A because it's on its way down while C is on its way up. So A is speeding up and C is slowing down. But if you look at where they are on their arcs here, you know, A is speeding up, but it hasn't reached its max speed yet. B speeds up on its way down, hits right where it slows down to zero but then it rebounds really quickly so it's actually moving with a, a really high speed uh, right here and then that slows down as it goes up so since C is lower on the arc than A if you just move C over here you know and follow the same path down you would say that C is moving faster so C has the greatest kinetic energy and then the next one's going to be A because it's on its way down in the middle between B and C um, and then B, since it's at the, the peak of the arc here, um, while at point B it does have horizontal velocity, it does not have vertical velocity because it's at the peak or very close to it. Um, so this would be on its way up, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down at its slowest point at B, and then it will speed up on the way down. So we'll go ahead and plug in B for the smallest kinetic energy. Okay, great. There's two for kinetic energy. Let's go ahead and go back to the main menu here and uh, do our last one, which is just ranking the speed of the object. So, um, you know, since we already did kinetic energy, this should be pretty easy because really what you were just doing in the last trophy is ranking the speed, right? Because the speed tells you um, the kinetic energy. Uh, so, we're going to be doing kind of the same thing here. You got to think about the ball starting up here. It rolls down. Um, at this point, it'll be moving really fast. And since that is below, that is the lowest point right there, A is going to be moving the fastest. Then B is on its way up to point C, but B would be moving faster than it would at point C. So we'll go ahead and put an A, B, C. So um, yeah, just don't, don't, um, sometimes people you know, want to say that the, you know, the ball has to be moving, f you know, faster over here than here to get up the hill and stuff like that. Just, just go by the height. The lower it is, the faster it has to be moving. If it was dropped from up here, it's moving really fast. It's going to be slowing down, speeding up, slowing down as it goes up. So just kind of track it like that. And our last example here, looking at points A, B, and C. So A looks to be at the highest point, so the person was released from up here, so it's in the process of speeding up. So since A is at the highest point, it's going to be moving the slowest. It goes down and speeds up, slows down, speeds up again. B is really, really low, so it has to be moving pretty fast there. That's going to be our greatest velocity, and then it's going to slow down as it goes up to the top of this hill, but then it's going to come back down and speed up again. Um, now, in terms of you know energy here, if we are assuming no friction, then um, the object could theoretically get back up to its highest point, which looks like this peak is kind of level with A, although I'm assuming he was dropped from up here. If we're considering friction, then this tuber will never be able to reach the same height that it originally went up to. So if the if person dropped from up here at the very top, then it could get to the peak here. But if the person was dropped from right here and we were counting friction, the person would never be able to get back up to that same spot because all of that potential energy 
would not be transferred into kinetic and then back to potential. Some of it would leave the system in the form of heat energy because of friction, right? So just want you to think about that, uh, consider that. But here we go. We'll go ahead and check our answer. Good to go. Um, okay, so there's a little tutorial on energy ranking tasks. And um, hopefully that'll get you through the assignment. If you have any questions, let me know.